In this video, we're going to look at the FRM01 relay module. The module operates at 12 volts. This power supply is off right now, so the module is off right now. And this is the switch side, so this power supply is on, but the LED is off because the switch is off. This is the normally open switch over there. If I move the jumper over there, it is the normally closed switch. So now in this video, we're just going to look at the first function. So I turn this on and we have a countdown to five. So that happened when we turn the power on. I bumped the power supply. It cut power for a little bit and now it is on. So we'll turn this off and uh, turn it on. Fortunately, this power supply kind of kicks out when you bump it. So we can also give a high signal to this third pin right there. So we power it and then we have a channel one pin. So where the red jumper is, that's the positive supply. Where the blue jumper is, that's the negative supply. So pretty straightforward. Now I turned off the power of both supplies and I moved the jumper from the normally open switch to the normally closed switch. Now when I turn the power on you can see that the LED is on because the relay here is in the uh, normally closed position right there where the LED is lighting up. When I turn on this power supply it's doing the countdown of five seconds. I don't think you can see that very good. But in any case, it turns off. So I'll turn this light off. We'll see it a little better. We could either turn this off or on or give at least a 20 millisecond click right there and it's counting down. So now zoomed in, we can see the display here pretty easy with the uh, light down limb uh, dim. Even when it's this bright, I can see the number really easy in person but the camera's not picking it up as well so we will uh, just work with this light down this low so right now the relay is engaged we still have it at the normally closed position so it's not in the normal position anymore the uh, relay is engaged so that disconnected the normally closed and uh, if we had the red jumper over there then we would see the LED on that is normally open and then it closes when the relay is engaged which it is right now so in any case we're gonna set this so there's 18 different functions we're only gonna look at function one right here but I press this now the relay disengaged since it's a normally closed now it's in the closed position and uh, so this is first uh, we'll do this one this raises the number and then that button lowers the number right there and uh, so we're just gonna stick with one that is the function we can go up to 18 and so now I'm gonna just press the uh, select button again and uh, right here is SWI I believe it is and we can change the time so it's five seconds we can hold the button down and we get a point five so now we can have that decimal point there or get rid of it. But now, if I give a high signal, actually I have to, uh, I have to hold down the uh, set button now. There we go. So now we have a half of a second that it delays before engaging the switch right there. So engaging the relay. So right now the relay is engaged, and uh, so. We can do whatever, 1.5 seconds, hit set again, or whatever we want. So let's get rid of that. And instead of a, a fractional second, we can, if we keep adding, it'll stop at 9. So if we want 10 seconds, we have to go down to 0 there, and then hit set. And I didn't do what I, oh, okay. So let's go back to the time. So we got zero. Now we hit the SWI. There we go. 
Now we got 10. And so these other ones are for different functions. So we're not going to worry about that right now. But now we got the 10 seconds, so I'll hold this down. And you'll see it right now, the relay's still not engaged. And when it's done with the uh, countdown, now it is engaged. So now, I think it's a little less confusing for some people to see the normally open. So right now the relay is engaged. And uh, so the uh, normally open switch is now closed, like a mechanical switch. It's like I'm pressing the button and it's on. So you can see here we got the positive rail coming over to there and then our common one right there. And that's going to the resistor and the LED and they are on. So hopefully that makes sense. It goes through the load back to ground and then to our breadboard power supply. Now we'll zoom back and I can either turn the supply off or I could just take the green jumper that I have to the positive rail and then touch that to the uh, channel one. But now we have the uh, countdown again. So I changed it to 10 seconds. It's going to take about 10 seconds. So that's all there really is to the uh, one function right there, which is a little hard to see on camera, really easy to see on person. But in uh, any case, it does a countdown. Right now it is off and it's counting down until it will turn the relay on, which takes current. So there's a little bit of current even when the relay is off. So it looks like about 10 milliamps of current or so far. And then it uses, so that's with the display lit. And uh, so it uses some current just to run the display and whatnot. But it takes more current once the relay is engaged. And we have 12 volts controlling the relay, a different uh, power supply altogether. It's just a switch, like a mechanical switch on and off on this side, whereas this is powering everything on the relay on that side. So hopefully that all made sense. I'll uh, pop up some other videos on the screen and the subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe and uh, click the bell. I will do some other videos on the other functions uh, coming up. So make sure and check those out. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.